wrong word to describe it. Algarve. It's that people are extremely friendly. Very down to earth. One word to describe Portugal. 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 Well, I like a lot of things about Portugal. Is. Is. Like. These beautiful cliffs. The ocean. It's the sun. It, the landscape. is incredible. Magical. The weather. Gorgeous. Really unique to this area of the country. Portugal is, uh, it's magnificent, man. Such a beautiful place and I want to say so many things. wanted to get you on the phone before you cut your flight. I just spoke to Troy, and I wanted to let you know that we're not meeting at the hotel like we planned. Um, you don't need to know much more than that. Just text me when you get here. I was very anxious because it had been a really long time. It's almost been a year that I saw Troy, and I saw Ro when I was in Honduras with him. We haven't seen you in months. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's so great to see you guys. So I know we just got off the airplane, but I thought a really great way to wake up would be to go, go and do some stand-up paddleboard. You know, it takes a little bit of getting used to. There's so a balance. Done it. There's a balance element to it. Is our instructor today, and we're gonna meet him down here. So okay. he should be right around the corner. Yo, I can't believe you actually made this happen. I know. First like day, right we away. Just landed. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> wow. So this oh, is the limestone smoke. you were talking about. Yeah. Unreal. So I saw the pictures, but I did not expect this. Emily. <laughs> Emily. Yes. Hi. Troy. Troy. Thanks for meeting you. us so early, man. So this is a Benagil beach, okay? This is like in the center of the Algarve. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna paddle out, paddle, uh, paddle east, and we're gonna carry on. There's a huge big cave just around the corner Woo! over here. Oh, oh are we going into <laughs> Yeah, we are. I've been uh, in Portugal for 15 years, but I grew up in South Africa, so I've been there for, I was there for 30 years. Yeah, I've been working on, behind a computer for 10 years and decided to get back into nature because before I was a river guide and a game ranger. What, are we putting on a wetsuit or are we going in our shorts? Oh, going in your shorts. <laughs> okay, man. You want to gather around the front here, guys. You notice that the paddle is angled slightly up and you paddle like this. We're about to go around the corner and I've heard that the caves are incredible. It's another way to really explore. It's another way to see the ocean for a different point of view. We're just gonna go down there and just try to take it in. This beach is absolutely incredible. Yeah, well it's uh, called Praia de Marinha and it's probably one of the most photographed beaches in the Algarve. You can arrive up there on the, on the park area, take an incredible photograph with these double arches that we just paddled through. Yeah. We've got a lot of blue flag beaches, and blue flag means it's a very, very clean beach. Oh, wow. So Portugal really values its beaches and makes a lot of effort to keep them clean and in line with the European standards. Because I saw a cave down there that I really want to get in there and really explore I that. I'll show you that cave. Troy, are you keen to get into that cave? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Troy's an expert take now. take me a little bit longer, but I'll meet you there. <laughs> I took a plunge as soon as I got in, basically. Now I'm awake and feeling groovy. <laughs> Anytime between now and 100 years from now, you can see, you actually see a seam around the outside that will eventually fall through. And an example of that falling through is the next curve.
I feel like I'm sitting in the coolest place on earth. And Rodrigo said it when we first came inside here. We've never been anywhere like this before. We've never seen anything like this before. This cave is massive. Oh man, this is very cool. We just start. <laughs> we just started doing it. It's been 20 minutes, and I'm already blown away. We ended up going into this one specific cave that was so magical. We landed on the beach. We walked up. There was no one else there, and we sat there as the light was coming down through the ceiling of the cave and, and had a really good conversation. We played in the water together. And doing things like this, I think it unifies people. I really feel the vibe is, is genuinely perfect here today. <laughs> I gotta say, you're gonna love this shot. Get up here! Go, go! Okay. Emily, get out here. Rodrigo's got a drink for you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> and let's cheers, cheers. Port to Portugal. To an exciting day tomorrow. Yes. What's really cool, guys, is everything seems close, right? Like we're close to the center of the town. Yeah. We're really close to the pool, as you can see right there. Yeah. I heard there's a really nice beach, too. It's like 10 minutes walk. I can't okay. wait. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. Seriously. Woo. Maybe we should take a walk now at sunset. Oh, we don't yes. Okay, after this beer, we go. Cool. Cheers. Love you guys. Portugal, baby. Portugal. Cheers, guys. Woo. <laughs> Can you, okay, like in whoa. contrast to what we saw yesterday, like the limestone cliffs, and now, oh, whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> and now bro, look at. <laughs> you trust me, bro? I trust you, but sometimes you? I get like a little heart attack. <laughs>